Say hello to the Hot Sound Blitz. Let's get this video rocking. Oh man, that's fun. Rick with Shooter 1721, look what we got today for review. We got the Hotson Blitz in 30 cal. And I'll tell you what, this, this gun comes with a ton of features on it. So first you come back here and you got your adjustable uh, cheek piece for your buttstock back here. You got right here is a mod for your mag. And I'll show you later in the video how this works. So it's a key. You stick it on the back of your mag and you're able to turn it and lock it into place instead of trying to hold. It has a very uh, strong spring to the mag. And then, of course, you can see your door right here. It comes down to hold your mag in place. And then you're able to drop it forward right there. That's how you're able to uh, load your mag. And then as you look on top, you got 11 to 22 millimeter uh, pick rail on top. Uh, today we have the Leapers uh, 3 to 16 on here which I want to thank Leapers for sending that for us. Our barrel length is 23 inches. The weight of the gun is about 8.8 .8 pounds. You add the scope, you're at nine, but it's really nice. And then also you have up here, you have all kinds of, for your adapters, whatever you want to put on there, you know, anything from your bipod to a flashlight, whatever you can dream up. They give you four points of contact there. That's awesome. One other feature that I found right out of the gate with the gun, right here, is look at the thickness of the gun right there. It's about an inch and a half, which I thought was amazing. But you know what? That's enough talking about this gun. Let's get to shooting this gun. Okay, here we are at the bench with the Hot Sun Blitz in 30. Uh, one thing before I start shooting and we'll talk about a little bit is this right here. Since it is a semi or, you know, full auto also, um, one thing that, uh, that with the trigger, it is heavier because it is, you know, what's happening with the bolt and the system. You're going to have a little bit heavier trigger pull. So you're going to see me with a little bit more finger on the trigger. And uh, that being said, this gun is very accurate. But it takes being able to have your finger back there and taking that dead out, what I call the dead out, and feeling that and getting it there. And we'll see what kind of accuracy it is. I've made some really cool shots at home uh, last week and trying it out. So we're going to shoot here at uh, 50 yards and see what we get here. All right, let's, let's take some time and get a little comfortable with this here. All right, all right, here we go. Well, I had a nice half-inch group. Of course, that last one got away from me. So that what it means is, you can see I found the dead in the trigger as you as I felt that pressure point with a semi. That's something as you know, uh, you sit here and you're, you're shooting and you're like, oh yeah, I can feel this. I can feel this. They were all going through the same hole. It was looking really, really good. And uh, of course, that last one wanted to take my little half-inch group and throw it to a three-quarter. Uh, yeah. No, you believe that, Ryan. I do. Oh, it was perfect. Oh, well, that's enough talking about that. Now what I'm going to do, I have the other camera down there. Uh, the, the target that's behind that is the steel plate, and that's at, I would say that's probably at 57 yards. So what we're going to do is uh, right here, I'm going to show you this, which I didn't show you because I was holding the gun in the intro. Ooh, rock and roll mode. Ooh. So I'm going to rip at that steel plate and see how many we can put on that plate there. If you know get a little tuck it in real nice and tight and see if we can i'll aim at the i'm going to aim about middle of the plate hopefully it doesn't knock it over when we go on rock and roll wow whoa did you hear that it did knock the plate over but i think all the pellets actually hit just so you guys know on purpose I aim low on the plate because I didn't want to knock it over because I wanted to see how many pellets hit it. Well, you know what? 
Let's walk down there and see what happened. Oh man. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You guys ready for this? Check this out. So, is that good there? Okay. So you can see how many, take a look at this. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that means when it, it might have fell over, I don't know if all hit or there might even be more here. I think they all hit. But look how they hit. This is 57 yards on full auto. Do you see that? I mean, you're talking about from here to here is a three inch group on full auto. And that might be just me holding it. But you, if you listen to that steel, you can hear how many times it hit it. Woo! You tell me the hot on blitz isn't a ton of fun. Man, it is a thumper. Shooting 730 feet per second. You know, well, that's, that's enough talking about this. Here's your accuracy. It's time to chronograph this thing and see what we're getting there. Woo! Let's get the chronograph. Okay, well, we got the FX chronograph on here, and we got it set up, and we just filled the gun. So, this first one or two shots, sometimes when you get real tight, if you get too tight on your air fill, want to make sure it could choke it a little bit until the reg sets there. I'm sorry, until the valve sets, not the reg. All right. All right, so I'm going to shoot down there, steel plate at 57 yards. So, I'm going to take a shot at that and drop a couple in there and see if we get some good readings. 700. 42. Well, we'll leave this in as a blooper, Ryan. What should I have done? Yes. Sorry, guys. On rock and roll. But we got a reading of 742. Yeah. All right. Back to back to business here. Okay. 712. 735. 724. 700. 28 726 726 731 Well, I gave you a lot of numbers there cuz I just want to keep squeezing that trigger. But uh, you get to see about where it is and one thing you want to remember to do is definitely hit your selector switch and uh go back to semi when you're shooting semi for a chronograph test. Woo! Come on, man. Ryan, you see the group on that down there? I do. Wow. All right. I like it. What do you want to do next? Let's check that trigger. Mm, okay. Here's where it will get interesting. Let's do the trigger pull test. All right. Well, here we go. Let's see what this thing does here. Let's see what we got. There you go. Six pounds, 13 ounces. Okay. Seven ten. And there you go, six five. So you can see what I was saying to you about the trigger. You can see that you know when you're squeezing, you're getting to make an accurate shot where you're using it in the semi mode. When you're doing that, you're just putting the pressure on it, and after you shoot it for a while, you get to feel that pressure, and you saw the 50-yard group it shot. I threw one out of that group, and I think I let the pressure off on my trigger when I did that. And yes, I, I, the chronograph's still reading behind us, so please forgive that. It is nice to turn your chronograph off while you're doing your trigger test, but you could hear it's still doing its thing. Well, we got the trigger, we got the chronograph, we got the accuracy. Showed you a little bit of full auto. What else we got, Ryan? Stretch it back to 100. Ooh, 100 yards? You guys want to see 100? All right, let's set up at 100. Woo! I'm going to start testing this out here at 100 and, and see what we got here. Let me uh, just see what we got. Holy cow, it shot a decent group. It really did. On the steel plate, you're going to be able to see it down there on camera. And of course, you could hear the steel ringing. That, that's not bad. I didn't think it would shoot uh, a great group at 100. But as you'll see the rounds coming in, you saw I had a nice steady squeeze on the trigger. 
the more I did that, the more the consistency I was seeing. Now, I do have a backyard brawling, uh, one of the little targets down there. I think it's the pig. So we're gonna see if we can get some bacon down there with this. I'm gonna see if I can dial it in here and see if I can put one on him. Let's see what the wind drift was there. And there is a flag down there. Of course, you can't see it, but so it looked like an inch maybe. Let's see if we can get this pig. Nope. All right, here's the drift. I think I got it, right? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Called the drift, made the shot. We got bacon. You heard it go pew. Well, there you go, guys, 100 yards. And, of course, those shots you saw that, you know, you were hearing that I was missing on Mr. Bacon there, but it was just a wind drift. I just moved it over. So, yeah, wow, that's impressive. This is Rick with Shooter 1721. Thanks for watching. Woo!